Stay there. Oh, I forgot to get a ball. That's what I was gonna get earlier. Okay, Aeroform Mound product review. Three, two, one, go. What's going on guys, Robbie Rowe. I'm here today to give a little review of this. Aeroform Athletics Mound Platform. This is my Aeroform Mound Platform, completely personalized and customized to me, Aeroform underscore athletics. I'll include all their tags in the description of this. A lot of guys have to put dumbbells in front and behind the mound because as you'll see indoors or on like a turf surface, someone goes to throw, boom, pretty stiff front leg and then the mound will shift forward and you don't want that, right? Like you want sturdy, you want stability to truly optimize your mechanics. But the beauty about this mound, this mound has this rubber deal here that sometimes comes off a little bit loose but it sticks to the, to the surface, whatever surface you're throwing on. As you can see, I'm throwing it on the gym flooring mat and then a little bit of turf, but either way, there's, there's no shift. You don't need to put any weight on it. And I think honestly, when it comes to getting a portable mound, that's like one of the biggest things. Another feature that is one of my personal favorites, obviously, whoa, sorry, glove. They freaking hooked it up with the Robbie Rowe Show logo. Unfortunately, the sticker's coming off a little bit, but that's all good. These mounds are completely customizable at Robbie Rowe one, two. Need to throw that hard. <laughs> That's sick. Another beauty of these mounts is it's completely customizable. If you reach out to them, they can literally do just about anything. I'll say for me personally, I do really enjoy customizing. Like you can see my dream glove here, like really personalized. I just think it's another a way to showcase your personality, showcase your creativity in the sense. I'm a content creator, so I think that's a beauty in that is the showcasing of your, your mind's creativity, your personality, my flamboyancy or whatever. You can show that in the way that you customize a portable mount. Or it's just f easy free marketing if you're a facility owner, if you're making videos, you know, creating content and putting out on the web, someone goes to repost that video, the mound itself could actually have the facilities tag or the facilities website or something little like that just potentially can engage more customers, who knows? And this is where you'll see the wheels and I'll pat the chest on this one. I think I just installed this wrong because I wasn't able to get all four screws in. I missed one on each, but it still, it still does the job. So the ability to have this portable too, without having to lift it and carry it other places, I will say one knock, I guess it's not a knock. I would say more of a, just a common sense thing is it's really hard to turn the mound itself. As you can imagine, it's really hard to turn. There's times where I'm doing it myself and I have to lift it really heavy on one side and then gradually turn um, and lift one of the wheels off the ground, which isn't ideal. But at the same time, it still con is considered portable, which is super dope. The delivery was a lot less of a hassle than I expected. I expected this big ordeal, but it showed up. The guy freaking unloaded on the truck. The hardest part was probably me and my buddy having to carry it around from the front all the way to the side yard into the lab. That was my biggest concern was not really understanding the dimensions of it, the weight of it. It's really heavy. Like that's a thing. So that's me lifting it. I'm a freaking strong cat. So, hey, it was pretty, pretty dang heavy. One of the cooler things about the wheels is like, you don't have to worry about the wheels affecting the, the mound moving while throwing because the wheels are elevated while you're throwing on the mound. There's space. You're not going to get, you know, it's not going to hit. So they only get touched when you go to lift and then boom, wheels make contact. Now you can go. It is tough to steer, but you also got to realize like I'm steering it in very confined corridors. Obviously that anything would be hard to steer.
To say it's long lasting, I would say is an, an, an absolute understatement. I think the material used, everything that goes into the, the making of this, we'll be putting in a lot of materials that are gonna sustain it. For me, being a guy that likes to throw or somebody that's looking to purchase something like this, obviously, if you're a facility, you're probably gonna have guys throwing it all the time. So a huge thing in their minds is durability, right? Can it withstand multiple guys, probably big donkey pitchers too, going over and over again, rep after rep. I've seen this a lot of occasions with guys that during COVID who were building their own mounds and they were getting super creative, right? Going to the hardware store and building out mounds. That's all great. One year later, it's, you know, they can't use it anymore just because, you know, if I were to build a mound, it probably wouldn't last more than freaking one throwing session, just knowing that I'm not a, a wood shop person. I want to let you guys know if you go to the Aeroform website, aeroformathletics.com, actually do a really good job on their website of giving you guys graphs. You're going to see a ton of different models for different types of mounts. Aeroform has a pitch pro platform and pitch pro mounds. They are different. I have the platform. I have the 516 platform. So the price point of the one that I use is going to be around 1869, which is about nine and a half feet long. It's about 10 inches tall. The dimensions are four and a half feet by nine and a half feet. The weight is about 130. Now that weight's probably going to change a little bit depending on the wheel assembly. They also have a model 508, which is eight feet long. They have a model 504, which is seven feet long. Anything baseball related, anything baseball training related, you know, it's, it's an investment towards your future. And I'll be the first one to admit when I was younger, I, n I still hate spending money, but I never spent money as an investment towards my career. I was always getting the cheapest things that wouldn't last, that I, I couldn't use for more than two off seasons, you know, when it comes to training equipment. And then as soon as I, I would say I got to like 30, yeah, 28, 29 years old, super mature, bald, I would say that's when I finally realized like, no, now it's about getting the expensive things that are going to last to be able to use it each and every day. Cause when it comes to training for baseball specific stuff, you're going to beat the living crap out of whatever it is that you're using. So you got to make dang sure that the tool that you're using is equipped to be beaten up, you know, and especially when it comes to mound platforms like this, this is what I was saying earlier with the guys that a lot of guys, a lot of my buddies built like portable mounds, you know, and got the horse mat stalls and the good plywood and all that stuff. Two years later, three years later, I guess now, they can't use it, you know? It's not about finding the best bang for your buck. It's more about if it's an investment towards your future, then you have to do everything in your power to get the thing that's, that's gonna last for as long as possible, all right? If it comes down to the investment, being able to be sure that I'm putting my money into something that's gonna be sustainable and long lasting, especially when it comes to investing in my career, knowing that if I have access to this every single day, I'm going to use it every single day, or at least as much as I can. I would actually consider the last few years of my development lacking a lot of mound reps because when I come back home, the one park that I do have access to and throw at, the mound is absolutely trash and it actually hurts my lower back. So I, I don't really throw on the mound as much as I would like. But now that I have this, it's like there's no excuses. Mound reps, this is where you make your money if you're a pitcher, get it in as much as possible. But just having this thing at my disposal whenever I want it, like I get out of the sauna in the mornings and I come over here in a towel and I grab like literally, <laughs> I'll like grab a med ball and just be like, all right, let's get 10 reps in, dude. <sighs> like why not? Like. If you're a baseball player watching this, or if you're a pitcher watching this, I think you can relate to the idea of always wanting to be on a mound and the ability to like customize it, personalize it, knowing that it's gonna be sustainable, knowing that it's durable enough to last for years and years and years. Another piece that's uh, worth mentioning is this, this pad here. Call it a launch pad. I, I will say like throwing on this as opposed to just having this like carpet material next to the mound makes a huge difference in the sense of like the stability aspect of it. And knowing that when I put my foot in here, like I'm locked in, right? I can really feel my hip load, all these things. And now if I were to feel here, now this is not bad whatsoever, but here's a little bit less durable than this, right? Like my foot's not really gonna go anywhere there. Um, I haven't thrown on this with molds yet, so I can't answer any questions regarding to molds. When I first put it in here, and this was before the wheels, so I literally just laid down and just took a nap. 
like this thing's actually is just super comfy. Not only is it sturdy and stable and sticky to your shoes, it's also comfy to meditate on. I'm also using this, <laughs> if we can take it a step further, if you're just somebody that owns a home gym like myself, take it a step further. We were doing freaking straight leg sit-ups uphill on this slope the other day. These are extremely hard. We were doing reverse lunges, freaking downhill on the slope. This thing's multifunctional, super multifunctional, super freaking stylish too. What is it? Plexiglass underneath it. If you're someone that has a similar setup to me that's in your backyard and you want to get reps in, you're worried. Another beautiful thing about it is obviously the wheels. You can move it out of the way if this is a training area, right? Or you just freaking flip it to its side up against the wall. <laughs> it's out of the way. It's great. I do want to take this time and let you guys know if you have any questions pertaining to this this mound, this platform, working with this company, don't be afraid to hit me up. I have a question platform that you can reach out to me on the robbyroshow.com forward slash ask. Special shout out to Aeroform Athletics for obviously sponsoring the video, sending me the, the portable platform, customizing it, making a dope product, and allowing me to, to market it because it's always easy to market products that I see so much freaking value in and don't see much downside. I'm Robbie Rowe. Thanks, guys. See ya.